So on this piece here, we're going to start by using the all-in-one DIY new paints that just came out. And this is in the color Blue Skies. What is great about this paint is it doesn't really need to be sealed because that is in the paint already. But I'm going to use it as a base and then I am going to add some of the DIY clay chalk paint. Because that's what I love. So with this paint, just like with any other, I do a couple of coats just to get a really good base. But when it's done, it looked marvelous and I love the way it looked. Okay, so now comes the fun part where we blend a little bit of the chalk paint um, to the base of this all-in-one paint. I'm going to start with um, black on the top. You can choose any black you want. At DIY, we have little black dress and um, black velvet as far as blacks go. And I'm just gonna do the top black. Um, I'm gonna blend other colors here. I want this dresser to be moody and kind of on the, with the darker colors. I do a lot of brights and I wanted to do some grays and browns. And um, I picked a special paper for this that I've been wanting to use for the longest time. I just needed to have the right piece. So you can see here, there's a little bit of the black onto the gray, that's okay, because I like it blended and then perfectly perfect. So this is a paper I've been wanting to use for the longest time. And I'm gonna put it right into the, on the front of this piece. And instead of using Mod Podge, I'm gonna use the Clear Liquid Patina, which is a sealant and also acts as a Mod Podge type um, Product. It's like a glue and it's also a sealant, so it's great. And I'm going to show you my big mistake. I do make them. Oh, yes, I do. So, this is where I made my mistake. I had to scrape the paper off. Um, it's okay to make mistakes, you just have to redo. The paper was up too high and it just wasn't working with the drawers. Now it's time to start the whole process over again, but with the paper in the correct place. Now it's time for a little sanding of where the paper came off or a little touch up of the paint and we can continue. Okay so now the paper's on, the paper is sealed and it's time to cut so we can actually open the drawers. This is really simple. You're going to use one of those exacto knives and just cut where the drawer is um, so that you can pull the drawer open and you're gonna just give her the extra pieces and that's all that you need to do to get the drawers to open and the paper not to tear. Now this part it's just all about blending and trying to make the front of this piece piece look like um, it was meant to be there and it has always been there all the time. So you want to blend the paint onto the paper. Yes, you can paint on paper. And remember that we did seal it with the clear patina. So it's not nothing bad is going to happen to it. But we want to blend the paint and make it look like it was just always this way. And I'm going to make it look kind of sort of like the edges of these paper, this paper was a little bit torn. So I'm just going to be adding colors, um, you know, the, the black and the, I'm going to add a little bit of Bohemian blue, one of my favorite colors and just, just kind of just make it match up to this paper. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the sides. We're going to do a little blending on both sides of this dresser, try to get it to match up to the front. It's going to be good. Okay. 
Now here comes the fun part. We're gonna add some golden ticket to our artistic studio pattern roller and we're gonna make a little pattern here on the side. And I know it's hard to tell here um, from this camera angle, but it's faint and it's subtle and it's just really pretty and it adds that little extra special touch to this piece. We're also gonna do it to the front top drawers. Okay, so we're almost done. Now we're going to do some fun stuff to the, the top drawers, which looks like it's four drawers, and this is why the paper didn't work when I put it up in the top, but it's really um, one drawer that looks like four. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a little bit of blending with our hands. So I guess essentially it's finger painting. Okay, so here we go. We're just gonna use all the colors that we've been using. We're just gonna blend them in. Okay, so we're pretty much done with the blending and just now the small little touches here and there and we're going to move on to the hardware. Yeah, because we're going to paint some of those too. Okay, as for the hardware, um, I found these, these really pretty glass and goldish copper hardware for the top drawers. I love them. I wasn't sure if they would work, but I think that they do. They blend in nicely with the gold that um, I put on the drawer. I think it just ties it all in. But for the hardware that we're going to use on the other drawers, I just found these regular um, dark brown hardware, and we're going to blend some dark and decrepit. Um, well, I blended a lot of things. I blended the black and the dark and decrepit, and some of the gold and gilding wax also on the um, on this hardware to make it match the top hardware on the dresser. 